Yeah, Bangalore is, uh, it's been a fantastic city to, to grow up in, you know, uh, as a cricketer and, and also I think as, as a person. I mean, there's, uh, you know, firstly to touch upon the fact as, as a person, there's a, there's a fantastic cosmopolitan air about this city. You know, it's a, it's a city in India wherein, uh, irrespective of who you are and where you're from, you're accepted very warmly. Uh, the local people are uh, extremely friendly uh, and uh, there is a sense of uh, warmth and friendship about the city that you know I was fortunate to have grown up in. Uh, it's uh, it's also a very laid-back city. I think it's not uh, it's not, it's not, it's not the hectic pace and the and the frenzy that you see in a Bombay or a Delhi sometimes uh, and, and, and I think that's uh, that's reflected in, in 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 the kind of people that there are uh, here as well. Also, as a cricketer, I think it's it's as a cricket player, I think it's got a great history and a great tradition of a of a city that's produced some of India's greatest cricketing legends. You know, right, going back from the days of you know Prasanna and Chandrasekhar and you know Vishwanath and Kirmani and, and and so many others. You know, and there's some great cricketers who've come out of of Bangalore, uh, idols and and heroes whom I could. Uh, Grew up idealizing, um, you know, growing up in this city as people who from this city have, have you know, ha have played great cricket for India. Uh, there's a great culture of cricket in this city as well. Um, there are, uh, there's a vibrant uh, club cricket scene. Uh, there are people who, who've been in the system for years, who have uh, literally lived for this game. Uh, so there's a great culture of of cricket in this in, in the city, not only at the international level, but also at a club and uh, and at a low, at a lower level, which I think is uh, helps breed um, the kind of quality of cricketers that we have bred. Uh, so I think from that point of view, I think it did definitely benefit me growing up in a in a very cosmopolitan city because I met so many different people. I met some I had some friends who who gone on to do very different things in life, uh, who came from very different backgrounds and different parts of the country. Uh, and also from a cricketing point of view, because of the culture in the city, um, the kind of cricketers that the city has produced was in itself an inspiration to me. I think there's a joy about this game in the city that, you know, uh, that you feel and that comes through. Uh, there is a sense of quality of the kind of people and the character of the people that have played this game from this city um, that I am you know proud to have inherited and, and proud to be a part of you know you look at the, the just the quality of the people of whether it's a you know Chandrasekhar or a, a Vishwanath or a Kiri or you know Anil and Sri and people like that who've come through the city uh, you know has been known for people who've who are uh, people who've carried themselves on and off the field with you know with dignity and class. Yes, the kind of rapid growth that the city has seen over the last 10-15 years is, has probably exceeded anyone's expectations. And I think that's, uh, that's sad in some ways to see. Uh, Bangalore itself in the, as a city has been changing uh, a lot. So the open spaces, the grounds that were available to us as youngsters today are not available to, you know, say my son or, or, or kids growing up at that age. So that's the, one of the sad things I'd say about, you know, uh, the city and the growth that it's experienced uh, in, in the last 10 to 15 years. I think you know the, there's just so much of time gets uh, lost in just commuting or, or uh, you know, getting to schools and coming back and that uh, you know I, I think the time spent to practice or to train is drastically reduced in big towns now you know and uh, so that's going to be a big challenge uh, for for people and administrators in some of these bigger cities and it's it's a situation that uh, we need to probably get places and facilities closer to, to children rather than to expect them to travel uh, any amount of distances nowadays in, in the cities. What's tend to happen in the city is, is it was a lot easier to get from place to place, you know, from school to come to this ground or, or to go to practice at a club. Uh, you know, your parents, uh, the life, pace of life was a lot easier in those days. You could travel uh, much quicker. Today, every, the same distances take you 45 minutes to an hour. So it puts a lot of pressure, I think, on, on young children, on, on kids, uh, to be able to get the right place to practice and to be able to move around as easily as we did. Um, so I think that is definitely a pressure that is faced by Bangalore as it is in any big city in this, in this country. And, and that's why we're finding now that, and I believe that the next generation of Indian cricketers is actually going to come from the smaller towns and cities, you know, because uh, facilities are improving in those places. And um, 
and with facilities, uh, the kids there uh, and their parents, uh, you know, have a lot more time to devote to to the sport. So the pace of life has increased in Bangalore, and and it is affecting. We see that in our junior cricket as well now. Uh, that a lot of our cricketers now seem to come from the Mysores and the, you know, the Hubli's and the Dharwad. So we have a lot of cricketers coming from there as well. So, so yes, I mean things are. I mean the options and the, the distractions or the opportunities, if you can call it that, are so much more for for younger children today.